to calculate the equilibrium temperature and the range of temperatures for which this reaction is product favored, we will need the Gibbs free energy equation. Delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. At equilibrium, delta G will be zero. And if we want to solve for T, we'll substitute in the values for enthalpy and entropy, which are given. So delta H is 98.8 kilojoules per mole minus T times the entropy, which is in joules per mole Kelvin. So I'm going to convert that into kilojoules, 0 0.14. One five kilojoules per mole Kelvin. I'm going to rearrange, move the 98.8 to the other side, and that will equal negative T times 0.1415. Of course, the negatives cancel. And solving for T gives 698 Kelvin. Well, this is the equilibrium temperature. A product favored reaction is a spontaneous reaction. And a spontaneous reaction will have delta G values less than zero. We know that when delta G is equal to zero, temperature is equal to 698 Kelvin. So let's look at what happens to G if T is less than 698 Kelvin and when T is greater than 698 Kelvin. Let's pick a temperature less than 698 Kelvin and see what happens to G. Perhaps the easiest temperature to pick would be T equals zero Kelvin. If T is zero, then the entropy term disappears, and we end up with delta G being positive. When you have a delta G greater than zero, that's a non-spontaneous reaction. Non-spontaneous also means reactant favored. If the reaction is non-spontaneous at temperatures below the equilibrium temperature, then it will be spontaneous at temperatures above the equilibrium temperature. But for proof, let's plug in a temperature greater than 698 Kelvin. So I'm going to pick 1,000 because that makes the math a little bit easier. If T is equal to 1,000, then when we multiply, we end up with 141.5 kilojoules per mole Kelvin over here in the entropy term, which then makes the delta G less than zero, which is spontaneous or product favored. Therefore, we can say the reaction is spontaneous or product favored at all temperatures greater than 698K.